two, three. Okay. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. This delivery guy got mad and trashed his customer's groceries right in front of her door just because she told him, at the end of the day, I work for my stuff. Take a listen. You can't, I said Maryland. You I can't, don't live in Maryland. I live in D.C. So. Okay, I'm going to look at the D.C. laws right now for you. Okay, well, at the end of the day, I the the work day, for I my stuff. Okay, and I work for my stuff. Okay. And You can report all you want. This is crazy. See, I'm gonna let the neighbors know. Okay. This is absolutely ridiculous. Imagine placing an order for groceries and your delivery person made a mistake with the location, but you confronted him right in front of your door and told him that, you know what, I work for my stuff. But what did he do? He got upset and threw your groceries on the floor. What would you do if you were the one? Let me know in the comment section. Now this is crazy. So this McDonald's customer was so impatient at a McDonald's drive through that she could not wait her turn. So guess what she did? She got out of her car to order right in front of another customer. Take a look at this. You couldn't just wait in line? Well, you were taking forever. Your stupid truck was this big. I mean, why is your truck that big? But you cut me in line. It doesn't I, I would have been up here first, but your truck is right here. It should be illegal. It should be illegal to have a truck this big. What, 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 for, for what? You know what? You know what? I may just call. Seriously? She said I may just call. But who is she gonna call? I get a grande ice cream wow. macchiato placed in a venti cup with extra ice. Whoa, did you all notice a face at the end? That was something else. But I hope the other customer paid for her stuff at the window and then takes it so that Karen would have to go through the drive through again. Hopefully, that will teach her a lesson. The shenanigans dealing with unprofessional delivery guys. Check this out. And report you. You're an hour early from the email. If you leave this right here, this I can't lift this. I'm going to call and report you. I have no clothes on. You're an hour early. I asked you for 10 minutes to get dressed. I run downstairs because you were nasty on the phone with me to record a video of you saying that you're going to leave this here. So I'm going to call and report you. I can't lift this. I have no clothes on. I'm downstairs with my arm out of my, my door because I have no clothes on. And you're saying you're going to leave it. That's okay. That's wrong as hell. All I asked for 10 minutes to get dressed because the email said 830 and you got here at 724. Those delivery guys were so wrong on many levels. They should have at least waited 10 minutes as requested by the customer for her to get dressed so that she can accept the package. I think they should be fired, but that's my opinion. Let me know what is yours in the comment section. The hotel guest who is behind the camera has been difficult with this young front desk employee. He asked her, why are you angry? Take a listen to their conversation. So you gave my room to somebody? No. Anyway, um, do you... 
want me to cancel the reservation or do you want me to send fax it somewhere else? Um, those are really the two things I could do other than else. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. You are. You're angry. I'm not angry. So what do you want me to do, sir? Uh, I like the room here that uh, that I had that you told me would, would be here. We are booked here, sir. So either I can cancel your reservation or I can send it to a different location. What do you really want to do? Did you purposely give my room away because you had an uh, attitude with me earlier? So, um, I don't have any malicious intent. I'm really just trying to do my job. Um, so I can cancel your reservation or continue to a different location. Uh, what? What do you want to do? I like your, uh, I can find it. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm trying you, wait, to you're help good. you. Wait, you're good. What's my question you thought? I'm trying to help you. You could help me by not having me to drive all the way out here. <clears throat> so I can either cancel your reservation or I can send you to a different location. What choice would you like to make, sir? Right, like dude. not to be recorded either, because that's really rude. I didn't give you my no, no, no. I no did not, I'm being recorded right now. No, but you're recording me. Right now, I'm being recorded. I did not give. I'm you giving. My I didn't give you my permission to be recorded either, but I'm being recorded as well. This is a workspace. Record. Well, I, you're, I'm a, no, no, no. You're, I'm a boss. You're recording me on your personal ma'am device. I did not. Ma'am, I'm going to show the branch supervisor. What I just okay, went through. So anyway, I can send you to a different location, or I can cancel your reservation. What choice you want to make, sir? What What is this other place that you're trying to send me to? So we have a couple locations: Eden Prairie on Valley View Road, and then there's Eden Prairie on Technology. There's these. Um, do you want me to fax you over to a different location, or do you want me to cancel your reservation? We have not charged you since you had made uh, the reservation with a third party. You would have to call Priceline, Expedia, um, whichever one that you had made the reservation with. Um, let's uh, do Egan North, please. Egan North. Okay. So when you get to the location, you can um, you can call, and then I'll just fax it over. Uh, why don't we call now and see if they even have a. Uh, opening, please. Please. I'm trying to help you, and you're being rude. I'm not asking. Did you? Did you, you say, wait. I know. Did you say you call the police on me? No. Just stop doing what you're doing. I'm trying to give you a room. Don't be rude. Does it always have to be us, huh? It was obvious that the guest was trying to get a reaction from the employee, but she didn't entertain his nonsense. She was really professional about the whole situation. She even spoke to him like a little child. That was hilarious. A dog owner left his dog unleashed and his dog chased after the poster worker but guess what he blames the poster worker for his dog chasing her take a listen to this um, so this gentleman let his chihuahua out to bite me and he called me an idiot because i wouldn't pull out my dog spray that i was trained to spray the dogs with and now he's recording me and harassing me so what's your name actually well if you're done lying and your tag uh, number? So you didn't let your chihuahua out? No. You didn't? So why were you telling me not to run from it? Because everybody's seen it. So try to lie again. Okay, are you done lying? Can, you want to hear are my side of the story now? You're really going to lie like that? Can I have my side of the story now? Okay, so I'm a disabled vet and my dog escaped from the house. It's not a chihuahua. Hey. And you ran out into the middle of the this street. Is harassing me right now. Could you please call the police? This is not a harassment. I need your name, please. Hey. What's your name? Hey, Bill. Can I get your name? This man is harassing me. He just pulled up behind the post office vehicle. Yeah, I'm behind it. You can leave. You can leave if you feel bad. If you feel harassed, you can leave. I just want your name. So I can put in a complaint on you. I need your name. He said he's Can I get your name? If you didn't do anything wrong, why didn't you give me your name? How is the postal worker in the wrong? You left your dog out without a leash and your dog chased after her. 
and you're claiming that if she didn't do anything wrong, she would give you her name. I do not understand that. Can someone please make this make sense? No, I'm going to report you for the way you respond to me. For your lack of customer service skills, for your unprofessionalism. That's why I want to complain. Yes. Okay. So what's your name? So you're free to identify yourself. That's okay. Obviously you did something wrong or you wouldn't be ashamed of yourself. I don't see the reason why that guy had to state his vet status. I think he was just trying to play the victim in that regard. Also, your dog was let loose. The dog was not on the leash. And you're blaming the poster worker for your dog chasing her around. Come on. You need to take full responsibility for your actions. You are totally in the wrong. Y'all won't believe what this Walmart employee did. She walks up to a black woman who was simply shopping at around 3 a.m. in the morning after work. Demands to search her bag. After searching the bag, told her, you can leave. Take a listen to their conversation. Good job, Megan. I'm free to go. And you saw nothing in my bag. You decided it was a good idea to stop me and you want to search my bag. A 40-year-old woman with four kids who just got off of work with my name badge on. If you ever get sick, I'm the first to help you. But you decided in the middle of the night while I'm shopping because my car broke down that you needed to search my bag because at rent, and you're not even security, are you? Are you security? Are you kidding me? So Walmart's policy demands that you stop a black woman at around 3 a.m. in the morning and demand to search her bag. Be for real. You wouldn't, but you know what? Since you're the cashier, ring me up. I don't want to do self-checkout. Megan, you, you ring me up because right. you want to check me. Right. Want to get, my, right get my card. Megan want to stop me and ask me after I got off a 12-hour shift working in a hospital helping sick people that she need to check my bag because it's her policy. Check their bag and this is what they have. You know what? I don't want to hear that, Jason. I don't care if you check somebody else's bag. Oh, you not a single register open. Open one up for me, Megan, since you want to help me so bad and want to do policy. <laughs> Megan and Millard, Walgreens. What's this place? Walmart. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect your job. Checking me, wanting to open up my bag in the middle of the night. You know what? When you come to the hospital because you're not feeling well, I'm going to search and check you too. All your insurance. Huh. Well, you're going to keep your blood pressure up if you keep disrespecting people. Now please don't put the other stuff with my meat. I don't want salmonella poison. I don't even shop at Walmart. I only shopped here because papers was closed because it's late. Because I got off of work at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know how hard it is to work at late shifts, don't you? Because you're here too, huh? And the last thing you would want is somebody treating you like a thief after your hard day of work. But you don't work 12 hours, do you? No, I work 12 hours, 5 to 7 days a week. But I got Megan's who decide that I don't work and I got a shoplift. You want my food stamp card too, Megan? Well, no, I never used it. What do you, what you need to search my bag for? Company policy. company policy. What the hell's in my bag that you need company policy to look through? Well, I'm not even buying this. Shit. I can't believe you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I hope one day I bump into you with your mother. I hope I do, so I could talk to her about how you treated me. Hope to God. Whatever. You know, I hope to God I don't raise my kids to be like you. I can't even, you know what, I'm not even going to shop here.
Walmart lost my money because of Megan's disrespectful ass. Good night. What's your name, Wes? West. Bless your heart, working this hard job with these holes. Honey, be careful because they searching bags because they don't want to shop in here. Whatever, go to hell. Wow, the best course of action is making sure Megan rings up all the groceries and then walking out without giving Walmart your money. That was cool. A guest was arguing with this front desk employee about flight delay. He was kind of trying to intimidate her. But guess what? She matched his energy. Take a look at this. Hi there. Uh, would you know uh, what's going on with our flight? Yeah. The no. Buffalo. Yeah, it's running behind schedule. I know that. Uh, is there a real reason you can give me? A real reason? What do you mean? A reason why it's delayed. Um, it was waiting for the bag, so it's running behind Okay, schedule. why are you so rude? Why can't you talk properly? I'm recording you, first of all. Why are you high? How are you? Hi, yeah, okay. So why so, are you coming with that attitude? I'm not. I just this came... This is my first time seeing you. I yeah, right. So I just came... Exactly. All I came to do is ask you why you you're supposed to... You can come to the terminal and talk to the No, but, you, but okay. I don't want to go through securities again, right? So all I'm asking you is if you can look it up on your code well, share. I already told you why I was. It's running behind schedule. No, but what happened? Why was it delayed? It's running the first... Running behind why? schedule. Oh, so, okay. So you're not going to... Yeah. Because one of your people told me before that it was a belt issue. A what? A belt issue. Yeah, at Islip. At so Islip, right. Can't leave without the bags. Okay, so you know that reason. Uh, yeah. So you didn't want to give it to me. Uh, no, just I for the sake it's of behind it. Behind schedule. Behind schedule, but yeah. reason. I'm asking you, sweetheart. So I just told you a reason. Okay, so now you so told what me. What else do you want? Okay, to uh, can we get a supervisor, ma'am? Uh, yes, she's in the main terminal. What's her name? Um, Rebecca. And what's your name, ma'am? Uh, Naima. Naima. Yeah. Okay, as per your tariff here, ma'am on Frontier's website, uh -huh. tariff agreement says, if the flight is delayed more than four uh -huh. hours, what you happened? What happened? What, you are supposed to provide me with a different flight, uh -huh. even if it is on a different airline. We don't have that. Well, we do. You JetBlue has an... The supervisor, we're only giving vouchers. Okay, but JetBlue has an airline. Uh, you, you're on your own because we don't have no deals with other airlines. Well, it says on your website, in uh, your tariff. You have to call customer service and see what they could do for you. Okay, so you're not going to help no, me with anything I, I here. I'm only giving vouchers. Can you page out uh, okay. your supervisor for um, me? No, you're going to have to go over there. So you can't page out a no. supervisor? Why is that? Well, you got enough time to go over there. But well, why is that? Uh, because I'm not. I'm doing. Who are you to decide if I have enough time to go down okay, there? Okay, so if you need to, right. Do something else, you either call customer service or go to the main terminal. Okay, okay so you can call, call security. Yeah, so call security. Yeah, as if I give a. Does it look okay. like I care? Um, no, sir, no, it's not okay, ma'am. I've been here for four hours. I've been here since four o'clock. Right. So why don't you get okay. me a supervisor? Why can't you? Down. No, I'm calm down. I was talking to you nicely. I've recorded this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we know it all. We, we know it okay, all. I look beautiful, I don't have a problem with I don't give a you look beautiful okay. or not. All right, so Does it look like go. I care? So goodbye. Yeah, why don't you goodbye. call me a supervisor? Goodbye. Why can't you call I'm me a supervisor? supervisor? Why is that? Security. Call security okay. then. Let's right. call security. No Please. What was the point, man? Was no, I just want to talk to a supervisor. She was not giving me a name of supervisor. I did. No, you Rebecca. did not. Yes, Rebecca. I did. You want to replay? Okay, your Rebecca, video? where? Replay your video. Why can't you call her? Why can't uh, you I'm page not her? I'm calling them. I'm calling security. Okay, but why You're can't you page yourself? over there and talk to her yourself. Where? Okay, to the main terminal. But that, then I have to go to security again. Thank you. Hi. You're watching for what? Security over here. That's, no. that's point, man. No, no, I, not going to help them, man. Yeah, they I'm in well, they, 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 Just talk to them. Well, like, well, all I'm asking is for a supervisor, man. No, I'm not getting violent. I have everything on recording, ma'am. All I'm getting is asking for a supervisor. Well, I can't go through security again. No, why would I? Can you give me a phone number for a supervisor? Why can't you give me a phone number? That's all I'm saying. Why can't you give me a phone number for a supervisor? We're all irritated. Because that's the personal phone number. Right, but 
I should have an access to a supervisor. You see what I'm saying, yeah. right? Yeah, I can call a supervisor if you want. Yes. But from that point, That's what I'm saying. That's, That's what, what I was saying. Why can't she understand that and you understood that? It was simple English. I've heard we've all been here very early in the ring. Somebody had a problem with English there. You could call a supervisor, please, sir. Can you do that for me? That'll be much. It says Yankees on it, baby. Yankees. She acts like she doesn't give a crap whatsoever. No. So you can call a supervisor for me, right? Just give me one second. Yeah, yeah, please. From... Uh, Did you find somebody? No, they're not answering. They're not answering? You have to go to the main terminal. Main terminal? Yeah. And that's the only way to get in touch with them. Yeah. Can you imagine? After all the attitude, the drama, the back and forth, this guy still had to go to the main terminal to speak with the supervisor. The same thing the young lady was telling him from the beginning. Unbelievable. Finally on this episode. Imagine this. A young guy sees a young lady that he likes. He goes ahead and approaches her. Ask her on a date. But the young lady brings her three children out on a date. Guess what the guy did. Take a look at this. Kind of linking up, you feel me? We only just been talking through the gram and whatnot. So she get here, tell me why she pop up with three kids. Three of them? You feel me? Got a five-year-old, got a seven-year-old, and a 17-year-old. I'm 27. Your oldest almost older than me. You only about 33. What age you started f You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never, ever post these kids. So all of a sudden we go out to eat oh i got three kids come on ladies y'all can't be doing that we gotta do we gotta do way better than that man come on ladies y'all oh, man ain't i don't know i ain't going out like that man y'all got up come on man come on man ain't you uh -uh. ain't doing that straight up ain't no po like that but come on we gotta do better ladies For real. yeah hey mama uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to eat right now, mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a little restaurant. Yeah, the girl I was telling you about from Instagram that I met. This is Nia. Say, what's up, Nia? Hi. Yeah, this is the kids right Y'all say hi, kid. Hi. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is Kayla. She's five. That's Timmy. He's seven. And this is Sheree. She's 17. Uh-huh. Right. So what you going to be doing later, mama? All right. Well, let me just give you a call back later then. Mm -hmm. How the food is, kids? It's good. It's good? Look like your food good. You eating a whole lot over there. What's up, man? What about you? How you feeling? Everything is good. Y'all think y'all gonna get something to eat to go? Uh, Come on now, you. I got it. I can handle it. Just let's just make sure they eat enough food. They good. I don't know. I, I may get a to go box for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get enough. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all feel it. Y'all paid up, all right? Yeah, so when you get you one, make sure you get me in one too, so we, you feel me? I got okay. it, I'm gonna handle it. All right. Let me run to the car real quick. Let me go grab my wallet. I'll All be right. right back. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Y'all know we ain't doing that. Straight up out of here. Y'all know we ain't doing none of that. Uh-uh, baby. I'm sorry, you can't get me. Nah, because we ain't doing that. Not this year. Nah, oh, man. Don't even play with me like that. Ain't even no broken feel me, but three kids? Hell no. Nah. It was just 17. Should be paying for me. Y'all thought this was this about this our first date. How you expect me to just pay for three kids like that, man? Hell no. Nah. Come on, man. I'm out of here. I don't even play like that, man. What's wrong with you, baby? Come on, man. Ain't no broke, but just I'm just saying, ladies, y'all gotta at least give a the opportunity to like let me say yeah don't just do this just uh, expecting me to just you feel me on oh, rock out like that baby ain't no duck man i'm out of here I don't play that pay for your own food or you're gonna be washing dishes oh my goodness can you believe this she shows up at the first date with her three children expecting that the guy food the bill but was he in the wrong though for leaving her and the children at the restaurant with the bill. Let me know what you think in the comment section.